Hello, I'm Bobby Likas, host of Car Clinic Radio and Television. I've also owned and operated car clinic service pre-repair for 40 years. In 1986, we were the first authorized Bosch service center in the state of Florida and the eighth in the nation. So I know firsthand the quality of Bosch products and services. I'm proud to be here today to share information with you about a Bosch invention that affects the way your car performs every day, automotive oxygen sensors. Bosch has been an automotive leader since the very beginnings of the automobile and developed the very first automotive oxygen sensor in the 1970s to help control automotive emissions. So what are oxygen sensors and what do they do? About the size of an average spark plug, an oxygen sensor measures oxygen levels in the exhaust. So how do they do it? The sensor reads the difference between the makeup of the exhaust gases passing by them and the reference air trapped in the sensor body. Then the sensor sends electronic messages to the vehicle's engine management system, telling it if the engine's running rich, that's too much fuel, or lean, too little fuel. This allows the engine management system to make appropriate adjustments. Why does your vehicle need oxygen sensors? Internal combustion engines operate on a mixture of air and gasoline. The ideal mixture is 14.7 to 1. That's 14.7 parts of air and one part of gasoline, called stoichiometric. At this ratio, the engine is most efficient, and the catalytic converter also operates most efficiently, reducing harmful exhaust pollutants. The oxygen sensor's job then is to make sure the engine management system feeds the right mixture of air and gasoline to the engine to optimize fuel efficiency and minimize exhaust pollutants. Are today's oxygen sensors much like the original or quite different? Bosch has pioneered much advancement in oxygen sensor technology in the last 35 years. Depending on a vehicle's design, today's vehicles rely on one or more of four different types of oxygen sensors. The basic switching sensor is heated by the exhaust and provides a high or low output representing rich or lean. Only a few motorcycles and off-road applications still use these. Then there's the heated switching sensor, which uses a tiny internal heater and sends readings faster for more precise control of the air-fuel mixture during initial engine startup. Heated sensors can be mounted far from the engine. A faster version, the heated planar switching sensor, warms up and sends readings almost instantly and accounts for about half of all sensors installed in new vehicles today. Finally, Bosch's highly sophisticated wideband sensor sends readings in varying degrees from rich to lean rather than simply rich or lean. This allows very fine engine control and operation in the lean region where, for example, diesel engines operate. Vehicles built after 1996 have at least two oxygen sensors, and some vehicles have as many as four. The additional sensors monitor operation of the catalytic converter. What should the average motorist know about oxygen sensors and everyday driving? Oxygen sensors are a critical component of the emission control system and must operate under severe conditions for tens of thousands of miles. So check your oxygen sensors at every tune-up for improved fuel economy, better engine performance, and cleaner exhaust emissions. When oxygen sensors wear out, your vehicle will usually set a fault code illuminating the check engine light and fail emissions inspection. However, a slow oxygen sensor doesn't always turn on a check engine light. With a slow or lazy oxygen sensor, you might experience rough idle, sluggish performance, and increased fuel consumption. What are good things to look for when replacing an oxygen sensor? You can ensure proper emission control and optimum vehicle performance by installing only quality oxygen sensors when replacement is needed. Bosch provides the highest quality sensors for virtually every make and model vehicle, including domestic, Asian, or European. And most Bosch oxygen sensors come with an anti-seize compound applied to the threads. This helps facilitate future removal of the sensor if necessary. Bosch assures the correct sensor type for your car or truck, and Bosch OE type harnesses and connectors fit just like the OE, the original automaker. It's critical that harnesses not be cut, 
so you can rely on Bosch for the best wire harness fit and easy installation. Bosch not only invented the automotive oxygen sensor, but Bosch also created every key automotive oxygen sensor innovation, such as the first planar and the first wideband sensor. With a rich heritage and in innovation, Bosch is constantly upgrading sensor technology and makes OE fit and function oxygen sensors for more brands of vehicles than any other oxygen sensor manufacturer. I'm Bobby Likas. I hope you've enjoyed this video on Bosch automotive oxygen sensors. Remember, automotive oxygen sensors are the result of complex engineering and development. So trust and specify sensors made from the company that invented them, Bosch. For more information about Bosch oxygen sensors, call me live Saturday from 10 till noon Eastern Time on Bobby Likas Car Clinic at 888 Car Clinic or go to BoschAutoParts.com slash radio. I'm Bobby Likas. Likas, you'll love us.